I constantly doesn't mind a bit not having television right now. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. There it is. A U.S. flag on the surface of the moon. A workshop teaching you how to create a mini movie about the moon. Taking your inspiration from cinema and paintings, you will learn how to construct a miniature light box from card, cutting out silhouettes to create a narrative scene, and experimenting with light and shade. Step 1. Mind map the theme moon. Write down everything that comes to mind when you think of the moon. Make connections between the words. You could make a visual mind map using illustrations instead of words, combined with collage. Step 2. Research. Before any artist starts a project, they always conduct research and look to other artists for inspiration and ideas. There are a number of paintings in the Hugh Lane Gallery that contain the moon, such as this one here by Nathaniel Hone. Mark Francis draws on advances in microscopic and telescopic technology. The moon is a very popular landscape in cinema. I love the low budget and sometimes crude special effects in old black and white films and in sci-fi B-movies. A Trip to the Moon is a surreal film from 1902. This was before anybody had ever actually landed on the moon, when it was believed the surface of the moon was mountainous. I have included a short clip for you to analyse. Can you write a short text describing the style of this film and identifying the different shapes and colours and how they create a mood. Also, how do you think the special effects were created and what materials were used? Humans have learned a lot about the moon since 1902. What are the main differences that you can see between this fictitious moon and our real moon? Pay close attention to the people, their costume and their movements. Check out this lunar backdrop from the film Destination Moon created in 1950. What I love about photography and film is that you can trick the viewer. This is probably a painting that they have panned over to make it appear like a vast landscape. We have no idea of the actual scale of the painting. It could be very small. You can use QuickTime or download an app on your phone to take video and audio recordings combining these with your own movie to create a video montage. Step 3. Construction. These are the tools and materials that you will need to make your miniature set or light box. A pencil, craft knife, glue, sellotape, a scissors, a ruler, tin foil and greaseproof paper or tracing paper. You are also going to need some card. A cereal box will do, but if you have some thicker cards, that would be great. Um, however, if the card is too heavy, it's difficult to cut, so find one that suits you. These are the dimensions that you're going to cut your card to. You're going to need five pieces in total that you will then assemble to create your miniature set. Here I am measuring and cutting out template A. I need two of these. This is template B. I only need one of these. This is going to create the, the back of the set. And here I am measuring and cutting out template C. These, I need two of these and these are going to create the sides of the set. You need to score the card so that it folds, allowing you to adhere one piece to another. To score, you very carefully run the craft knife over the card without cutting through the card.
the interior of the set or light box must be covered with tin foil. This will allow the light to evenly disperse throughout. Um, so cover the pieces of card with foil before you start to assemble. When all of the pieces are wrapped in foil, then start to construct. You can use a combination of glue and sellotape to construct your miniature light box using Pritt stick on the inside and sellotape on the outside. Pierce a hole in the back of the light box using your pencil. Large enough to allow light to enter using the torch on your phone or a bedside lamp. You can create a single light source or experiment with multiple. Step four, design. Based on your research, design a narrative scene. This is the image that I worked from. Consider the scale of the people and the objects and their placement in the set. Draw the silhouettes on card and cut out the shapes. Take into consideration positive and negative space. The negative space is the empty space in and around the objects and figures. Now you are ready to start experimenting with light and shade. If you had black card, this would have worked really well to cut out the figures and silhouettes from against the foil background. However, if you would prefer to make a screen like I did, now's the time to wrap the front of the light box with the greaseproof paper or tracing paper. Spend a bit of time editing your photos and videos. Crop your photographs so that they fill the frame. Change the contrast and experiment with different filters. Add audio to your videos. You can download free sound effects or tracks, um, or what would be really great is if you wrote a script. You can use your phone to record your voice and then merge it with your video to create a mini movie. When you are finished, share your work with us on social media at Hugh Lane. We'd love to see the results.